YouTube, it's Maggie here from Political View. So, <clears throat> AOC is back in trouble again, just weeks after a similar complaint that accused AOC's chief of staff of funneling uh, campaign funds to a private organization that could conceal their origins. Now she's accused, along with her a senior staff member, of allegedly operating a subsidy scheme <sighs> that violated campaign finance laws. Oh, AOC, oh, AOC, whatever will we do with you? Please don't stop screwing up. It's making great news. Unless you're a Democrat flunky of a news organization, then you're not really going to hear about it. So the complaint boils down to pretty much this. So it says her and her campaign manager um, were overseeing a shadowy web of political action committees, which is also known as a PAC, uh, that allowed them to raise more cash than they could legally. Okay. Now it's also alleged that an LLC was created to avoid federal expenditure requirements by offering AOC and other Democratic candidates, uh, political candidates, uh, consulting services uh, pretty much for prices that were so low that the LLC ended up going out of business before um, the, the elections were even open. So over. So um, of course she denies all this, you know, it's pretty much her, you know, the allegations because she's such a paragon of the socialist stupidity uh, and would never do something like that. No, no, no. She would never do that. AOC is as innocent as the newly driven snow. Yeah, right. So apparently, according to AOC, uh, the charges are bogus proposals and they're by conservative interest groups. Well, she's not entirely wrong. Uh, it's not a conservative group. It's actually a conservative lawyer by the name of Dan Backer out of Virginia. So he's the one that put actually in these two complaints. The previous one for the funneling of money and this one. He's even launched a Stop AOC pack. Don't worry. I'm going to include that link below. If so, if you're interested, go ahead and take a peek. Now, he contends that the LLC they created was guilty of providing campaign contributions known as in-kind contributions um, by only charging candidates for a portion of the total cost of their services. So doing this pretty much had the company operating, as I said, as a loss. So it's campaign approved candidates uh, can have cheap services. Nice. Now, the FEC in the 1990s had an advisory opinion saying that uh, i'm going to read this straight what they said goods and services must be paid for at the fair market value okay that means the going rate otherwise they are considered in-kind contributions meaning it's a contribution to your campaign and you have to report it just saying now, another nail against Little Miss o AOC was the fact that there was an overlapping leadership of this organization with her campaign manager, which is also named, that's the staffer that's named in the complaint. So, of course, the FEC only has four out of the six commissioners slots filled. Lovely. So that means their own. They are the law requires that there's four votes on the six member member commission. So if you have six of them and four votes, that's great. But if you only have four of them and it's a split vote, you're basically in gridlock until they can pull their heads out of their collective behinds and get another two people on there. Now ba Backer did say that if this does remain in, um not being taken care of remains in a, a nothing status. He will sue, but I guess he has to sit for 120 days before he has to do that. So pretty much at the end of the day, AOC is not any better 
than the capitalist people that she's always putting down. So even socialists can be pieces of garbage criminals. But this is all alleged, so we don't know for sure. I'm going to keep an eye on this because this is really interesting. And she's always touting on like everybody else. So it's nice that uh, she ain't perfect. Though, considering the amount of money her clothing costs, yeah. No, she ain't a socialist. It's as bad as, bad as Bernie Sanders with his big old mansion, but he wants socialism. Yeah, start walking the walk when you talk the talk, Bernie. Same with you, AOC. Well, thanks for watching. Again, this is Maggie with Political View. Please like, subscribe, and share. And don't worry, I'll put the link to Stop AOC Pack in the uh, description below. Bye.